So as we continue our worship, I want to just uh, bring you a scripture from Matthew 6. And it's talking here. It says, Do not gather up and heap up and store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust and worm consume and destroy, and where thieves break through and steal. But gather and heap up and store for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust nor worm consume and destroy, and where thieves do not break through and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And so we are in this world, but we're not of this world. So it puts us in a, in a very um, different position in life. We live here, but we're like strangers in a strange land, aren't we? We're looking for a homeland, one that's already prepared for us in heaven. And so where is our heart? Where's our treasure? Is our treasure in heavenly things as our treasure in the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit's presence in our life? Or is our treasure, are we caught up in the things of the world? And I think we have to consider that in, in every hour um, of our life, every, every time we, we come to church, we need to like make a conscious decision to leave that outside the door. Just leave it out there. Because I'm going to go in here and get, you know, it's just like if you're going to if you're going to take a bath, you take your clothes off, I hope, right? Leave, leave the dirty stuff outside. Take a bath and then put on clean stuff. Well, when you come to church, leave the dirty stuff outside, right? Just take the old things off. Throw them away. Dump them. And then when you come in, you get washed clean by the water of the Word, the blood, and the anointing of God is here. And then... When you go out, you have a whole new outfit to put on. It's the robes of righteousness, and you feel clean, and you have peace, and, and it's just, that's where your treasure is. You can't pay enough for the peace of God in your heart. And so there's, you can't outgive him. He can always, he will always outgive you, because the Bible says he'll never be a debtor to any person. So I want to encourage you today to, to keep your your treasure and your heart in the right place in life and to remember him in your giving and and in your coming uh, to church and why you come and why you give and what uh, God has done for you. Uh, when I think about where I came from, uh, I can't even believe where I, <laughs> where I am. I mean, basically. And I know that God will take every one of us on through to better days and better places if we'll just hold steady with him. Amen. All right, let's bring our tithe and our offering to him with joy today as we proposed in our heart to do it. And uh, we'll receive that now. 